Hi everybody, I'm going to turn this fan off real quick. My name is Kendra, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to, just going to do a quick um, macaroni and cheese. And so you'll see how that goes down here and it's never the same way twice. It depends on what kind of cheeses I have on hand. Got some water here, some macaroni. I'm going to boil that up, drain it, and then I'll go to the other side over here with the cheeses. Oh, if you like this kind of thing, recipes, grocery hauls, prepping, I'd love it if you came back maybe a couple times, decide to join, decide to subscribe, comment, give me a thumbs up. Okay, so I should have said, I don't know how the rest of you do this, but when I cool, um, cook my pasta for macaroni and cheese, or, an, or another baked, because I bake my macaroni and cheese, I do it a, a little under al dente, so that it doesn't turn to mush. So. Take that for what you will. <laughs> if you hear my baby in the background screaming her full head off, she's a baby poodle, it's because she's in her playpen and I cannot cook with her under my feet. It's dangerous for her and for me. Okay, I have cooked this macaroni about that much. <laughs> and I didn't measure it. I dumped it out of a container. And um, now I'm going to put it in a bowl with the first ingredient. Okay, so here's my baking dish. I may have to level up I don't know and then the first oh and I sprayed it with Pam so well that's enough of that and so I put a pat of butter right in the middle of here I don't know maybe two and a half tablespoons worth of butter I'm gonna stir it around and get to the next part all right now we have the macaroni all mixed up with that big pat of butter and it was salted butter and there's salt in a lot of these cheeses that I'm going to use so I doubt I'll put more salt in it at all but I will put pepper and onion powder and that's my stove so it's ready I'm running behind um, I should uh, show you the next step okay here's uh, there's a, a noodle so here's the things I'm going to use and remember it's always different first of all I've got about a third of a package of Velveeta, about a third of a package of cream cheese. Now I'll chunk these into smaller pieces so that I can whisk them around. Um, I've got mayonnaise, sharp cheddar, pepper jack. The reason I have pepper jack is I need to use it before I can't use it anymore. And I've got Parmesan, because that's what I had, onion powder, pepper, and carnation. Now the reason that I'm using this milk is because it's past the best by date and I would like to, is it really past the best by date? No, almost. But I'd like to use this up before it goes bad or is older. Um, you know, oldest gets used first here. I typically will use either whole fresh cow's milk, You're not fresh, as first you get it from the grocery store, or I'll use even half and half. I thought about half and half at first, and then I thought, no, because I don't have a grocery pickup until Monday, and I don't want to not have half and half for my coffee. <laughs> so I'm going to get to that. I'm going to melt these things together with a tad bit more butter on a stovetop. I used about two-thirds of this can of milk. Here it is in there. Now I'm going to put as much of these as I want. And I wanted to also say, I think I forgot to mention this, typically I'll use a beaten egg, but this is almost gone and I thought I'd go ahead and use some mayonnaise because it's got egg in it and it's creamier than an egg. And I don't want it to be as baked as I do a looser, but still baked. Baked, loosely baked. <laughs> okay you guys I'm sorry but I I messed up my filming really bad and lost some footage so um, I don't think you heard me say maybe you did but I'll do it again I did add a spoonful of mayonnaise about a half of a this full of mayonnaise instead of an egg you can add an egg that's because it's um, what do you call it pepper jack cheese so in here is Parmesan sharp cheddar pepper jack Velveeta cream cheese I didn't put sour cream. I could put sour cream. We'll see how this looks after I put. I melted the um, the other cheeses together, and I ended up using a whole can of this carnation milk. The reason I use that over half and half is because I don't get grocery delivery until Monday. Today's Saturday. I need that for my coffee. The half and half. And I'm going to get the Dijon. That's the last thing besides the um, pepper and onion powder. 
Okay, as it turns out, I don't have Dijon, but I do have spicy brown. So that's what I'm using. About a tablespoonish. I'm gonna put some pepper in it. I think my son would like to come in here off camera and put a panko crust on top of this or breadcrumb crust, I'm not sure. He loves to do that. It's his oh <laughs> hold on. There's a malfunction with my onion powder. Look what showed up right after I used spicy brown mustard instead. Darn, darn, darn. It's better with Dijon, but it'll be okay. Found it while my son was looking for the breadcrumbs. Ugh. Hi, hi again. This is it. Goes into the oven at 325 for as long as I feel like it needs to be there. Um, I got some help and put some um, browned panko Toasted panko, oh, it's actually breadcrumbs this time. We couldn't find the panko. And a little bit of paprika. Paprika is always good in your uh, macaroni and cheese as far as I'm concerned. I had forgotten to do that and I was reminded. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna head over and get to the uh, broccoli that will be the side. Last thing, you may have noticed I did have to go bigger. That little blue dish is beautiful, but it wasn't gonna hold it all. While I'm thinking of it, have you all seen the mess that is my spice and whatever drawer? Um, so I've got both savory and baking spices in here, and I do need to do something. I need another system because I have more than this drawer will hold, and the drawer is really valuable, and I could use it for a lot of other things. What do you think? It goes all the way back. <laughs> Mmm, that looks kind of good. I'm going to come over here to the broccoli. Ow, that wasn't the smartest thing I've done today. <laughs> Little brocky wacky And we're good. That's broccoli and mac and cheese. Okay, that's it. I ate all but this last little bit. And I could eat it, but I think I won't because I am so full right now. That was delicious. It was rich and filling. And the broccoli, just plain broccoli with a tiny, I think I put maybe two teaspoons of butter in the broccoli while it was cooking and salt. And that was all that was on the broccoli. It paired really well with it. And it was just super good. I haven't made this in a long, long, long time. My son has been making it. And when he makes his, he puts the crumbs on top. So he did it for mine this time. And it does make a good difference. It's delicious like that. So, um, if you like this kind of thing, I would love it if you chose to leave a comment or a thumbs up or even subscribe. I love to meet new people and I love to chat with old friends. Take care. Have a great Saturday night. Oh, you'll see this Sunday morning. Have a great Sunday night. Bye-bye. <laughs>